All right, today's video is going to be a little bit shorter than usual. It's not going to be just that, but I think it's useful in my opinion because I was trying to do something like this and I had to Google or whatever, chat GPT. It. And it's something that has been requested on this channel uh, through Instagram a while back. And uh, I have seen that this trend kind of like took a life of its own. It's pretty cool, but it's still a trend. So tread lightly with this. Let's get into it. All right. So I talked about this blend difference CSS effect that you can do natively on headings in Elementor. I'm not familiar whether you can do this in on other elements, but I know for sure that that is native for the heading widget. So the heading widget means uh, not necessarily an H1, can be anything other than an H tag and can be a div, can be a span or a P paragraph. Uh, but in this case, because our logo is an SVG, this is what I use for logos, the SVG, uh, we do not have this option natively, as you can see, right? So then what can we do? We can add some simple CSS that can make this um, act just like the native um, effect in Elementor. So let's go to uh, the site logo. So this is my site logo, yeah? And go to advanced and forget about how I style it or I set my uh, elements to be my element to be but simply add a logo class or whatever class you want remember that class will have to be added in the css code so then go to custom css and as i said set the class of logo or whatever class you have set on and then drop in this code and this code will basically do exactly that set the the heading to have a css a mix blend difference and this was the request that i have received on instagram and obviously it's a huge trend by now i don't know why remember it's a trend can change very quickly and but i still think that can be used elegantly in any website so now let's go to have a quick preview. All right, so this is um, my logo. I set it on a black background with a white um, fill, yeah? So you see it better, but look at this. And the color of the logo changes depending on uh, what background color you have. So as you can see, the more vivid the background color is, right? The background color of the element that our text uh, scrolls over, uh, the more vivid the color is. And just look at this, look at this, how cool this is, right? And look, if I change this to orange, it's super blue and so on and so on and on a black on white background basically uh this is going to turn to black and of course this is not very black uh, it's not very white but also the text uh is not super black um yeah so i think this is really really interesting look at that and also in this case so cool right and the cool thing is that you can add this effect to um paragraph widgets as well or any any widget that has text for example or yeah it's mainly for text i would not add this effect on anything else um yeah and i think this is it i am working on something cool for uh this uh, for next week's uh last video of the month and um that's it if you'd like to see what else you can build with elementor watch this playlist here or here and if you have gotten any value out of this video please consider subscribing liking and sharing this video and i'll see you next time bye